If ever there was an organizing principle around uh, a cookbook, uh, the apocalypse is as good a one as I can think of. I share the, I share the, you know, the that sense of Im impending doom and the, and, and that you need to just be half prepared. It makes me feel comfortable to have a bug out bag, to know the routes out of the city, to have a machete under the seat of my truck. You know, we're not preparing for zombie apocalypse, but maybe. No, it's a, it, it, it's you know? a metaphysical apocalypse as yeah. much as anything else. Once like you've succeeded at something, you need to be ready for it all to go away, right? Yeah, <laughs> you need the sense of security to keep on working hard. We also wanted to write a book that wouldn't just be in the cooking section, that would be in the outdoor section, that could be in the fishing section, that could be sold at a sporting goods store, right. that could be sold at a hardware store. Our hardware store in our neighborhood exactly. sells the book. You know? They better, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you buy your machete from, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have like nine of machete buying. Yeah. Well, we wanted to write an anti-cookbook. Right. Um, well, that was funny. Yeah. A lot of these recipes are aspirational, right? You, you know, there's bone broths that you know take days yeah. and then you know adding a teaspoon of the bone broth to the dish afterwards is kind of like this perverse twist for the reader because they've just made the bone broth and they're only, they're only going to use that much and the rest but there has to be freezer. super hard recipe yeah. <laughs> you know there's a lot of books written of very easy recipes and there that's a category and yeah you can go there but you yeah. know fred especially fred is loves to torture people 